Hi everyone, this is Hedgehogs and Mia. Welcome to this video. I'm here with Pookie and in this video I would like to show you the next part of my Hedgehog plush collection. Now for some reason I've been looking forward to making this video and uh, yeah, I can't wait to make it for some reason really. Um, but I've been waiting um, till all my hedgehogs came. I still have one more on its way but it's pretty far away so I won't wait for it. I might just make a second part of another part uh, because this is actually the second part but my camera just becomes quite unreliable so suddenly so I hope she will be or he will be just fine um, so yeah if any uh, unfortunate uh, things happens never mind uh, I'll just keep on recording I guess now um, First of all, P uh, Pookie is a regular Webkin's hedgehog, which I showed in my previous collection, I believe. And he's gonna help me to show you all the new coming guys. Now in the very first part of this video, I'm gonna show you just all the less natural looking ones. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna start by show you, showing you the ones that I got at the coast. Um, that I didn't have much hedgehogs at the coast because hedgehogs are kinda rare there, I believe. But yeah, I got this blue guy here. This is there's just an Asian plush, which is quite bad bad quality. Uh, but these are the only ones that I found. And this is a brown one that goes with her. So actually, th those are both females, apparently. And just call them blue and brown. Not quite sure how long I will st keep, uh, keep these guys. But they were obviously hedgehogs. And I think they go pretty well in my collection also because they're, yeah, there are just two of them. So yeah, these are the very first that I would like to show. And they have different shades of uh, brown and grey. This guy has brown and grey in her quills. And this one has a rather blue color that reminds me a bit of Sonic. Because I named her blue. Uh, yeah, I thought blue and brown were quite fine also because their names start with the same letter. So yeah, these are blue and brown. They're quite charming. So I guess they're okay for now. Um, so that's gonna be it for them. And I picked these guys on my way. So these are found guys that I got in shops. Um, also the next two guys that I would like to show you are also found on my way. You might have seen the video I made about them. Uh, here we have Pin. And he is a jelly cat hedgehog. And uh, he is quite fair. He is actually one of those yeah, baby plush hedgehogs. And he's really soft. Now those guys aren't particularly cheap. They are. They have a very simple looking design. Very charming. They look a bit like decoration plush. But they are, I think it goes for about 21 euros. And he has a nice section of quills actually. That remind me a bit of the spines of a porcupine. Um, and actually... He goes pretty well with Fruzel up here. Now the nice thing about all my hedgehogs is that they all go really well together. So I have different groups of hedgehogs showing common features which allow me to group them when I make videos about them. The last one that I would like to show you is a little 12 inch jelly cat hedgehog. One that I really love, his name is Spike. Yeah, I didn't really change his name, he was named Spike. That said on his tag, together with the message, please care for me. So yeah, that's what I did. And uh, he's just really cute. He's brown, he's 12 inches tall and he has an amazing bunch of porcupine quills. <laughs> and his quills look striped. Look when you when you strike them this way. Look, they are, they are just striped. So yeah, it, re it really reminds me of the feathers of a bird. But he's just so soft. Also his... His uh, pointy snout looks really, his little muzzle looks cute, so cute. And um, yeah, I just loved him as soon as I found him. And I just, yeah, had to have him. He's one of my less natural looking hedgehogs. But as you can see, he has an incredibly charming look and design. So these are two jelly cat hedgehogs. And I make three adorable little hedgehogs here up on my bed. So I guess I'll just put here he has some trouble sitting up sometimes and then I have um, Spike here and this is Fruzel and he's the same kind of hedgehog which I actually showed in my previous video um, his muzzle is 
pointed downwards and he's one of those plush you can actually warm up. These are plush that we can find mostly in the, in the beginning of the winter or something. Yeah, hedgehog plush are mostly sold in the beginning of winter for some reason. Um, yeah, so these are my three sweet guys. And um, now I would like to show you some more of them. Hold on a second. Now I made this little guy. This is a little Facebook find. Um, a little set in which you could make your own hedgehog. Now I made a mess of it, I know. I never did this before. Uh, still, his limbs hold on well. But apparently he goes pretty well with Sniff. So this is Geronimo. I just call him Geronimo. And uh, Sniff is right here. And as you can see, they are like brother, little brothers. Sniff has a very large nose. And so, yeah, they go really well together. So don't mind uh, him. He has no tag. He's just one mess. But because he goes so well with, with uh, Sniff, I just, yeah, let's, let's have Sniff his little brother. So I just keep him here in the donut. And mostly, Sniff is just right next to him like this. And he can reach him with his nose. So, yeah. And then also my little guy, my very first hedgehog plush quills, was very pleased when, um, when uh, Katie's package came because um, in there, there was this little guy. Yay! He's uh, apparently a little uh, pygmy hedgehog plushie based actually on the features of an African hedgehog. And I just like the quills. Actually, um, they remind me of the quills of, yeah, this little guy, which I call Quills, so um, he was my very first hedgehog plush, so he's really special to me. Um, and they are both dressed for winter and their quills are quite similar. And the nice one is that this guy is a brown hedgehog and this one is rather like an African hedgehog. So also these guys go really well together. Uh, this is Needles and he just stands on four legs. So I keep quills and needles together and I just make sure that their names also fit each other. So mostly quills is here and I'll put needles just next to him. And then I have Clarice, which I found on my way on a jumble market. Also she was shown in a previous video and Katie found her a nice husband, which I named Murphy and Murphy's right here. He's a brown hedgehog, he's a bit darker, um, but yeah, <laughs> there she is, uh, there he is. He's very charming with his, um, his dark muzzle. And yeah, now he's a bit larger. Um, so I just keep them here. And mostly these guys stay in another basket, so... Mostly they are not on my bed. Now in the next part of this video, I would like to show you some sitting up hedgehogs. Now I mean the type, just like Pookie here. Also he got some friends. Um, now he is definitely... I was amazed when I got him. He was so incredibly charming and I just love his bunky body. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's just so incredibly adorable and his adorable quills. So he's just a, a bunch of love. Um, but like him, I've been collecting some other hedgehogs. Now I gotta say, actually I have different types. I have brown hedgehogs, I have pygmy hedgehogs, I have hedgehogs in very special colors. Um, some of them are not even based on existent uh, species, species. So yeah, I just have all kinds of them in all sizes as well so it's uh, just a random collection and I'm gonna start by showing you this guy this is Pablo and Pablo is a Folkmanis hedgehog I removed I removed his tags they are in my fan book he is uh, quite expensive actually I found him on my way um, so I would suggest yeah if just get him if you feel like spending the money on him. I've been stuffing him, I've been sewing him to make a plush of him. And a nice feature on this hedgehog is that you can turn him upside down by just turning over. Now, I know it's kind of 
hard to do with one hand. But if you turn him over and you just... Of course, don't stuff him too firmly because you won't be able to enter his feet. But he just can turn into this um, dark brown ball. Um, it's just a nice feature. That's what I really liked about this guy. Now, I wouldn't suggest do that. Don't do this too often just to make sure your plush doesn't get messed up. But still, see, he's, uh, he, re he recovers every time I actually get him out of his ball. So this is the very first sitting up uh, little guy. And actually, together with Pookie, he sits right there next to the brown donut. Um, the next ones that I would like to show you are some Douglas ones. Now, I was very excited I could, like, I could collect those. Got them both off. No, I got, got them off eBay, I think. This is a little guy I got off eBay. This is uh, Spunky, the small Spunky, and he's obviously a pygmy hedgehog. And yeah, I'm just so in love with him. He's incredibly adorable. He's a little hoglet, actually. And he's the kind of guy that you can actually carry just like if it was real. Um, he's adorable. He's very round. What I do not like about him is that he has, like, yeah, um, stitching that is actually visible along his side, which is actually quite, yeah, quite re uh, weird. I just kept his name Spunky, and uh, he sits, mostly he's on my desk, together with this little guy, which is also a small one. Yeah, he is pretty easy to, he just flops out of my hand. This is a little guy that I got in a set that was a Hug a Hedgehog little book. It's a little child's item. And he was just really adorable. I could get him for really cheap on eBay. And uh, I decided to have him. He was He's actually really tiny. Uh, his name is Twix. And uh, those guys mostly sit on my desk because they're smaller than the others. So to not lose them, I prefer to keep them together. And they're both pygmy hedgehogs. It's just that this guy is a lot flatter and less finished, actually. But I like his his uh, his little spines which don't show any stitching or obvious stitching on, on them. And it comes with a little book that talks about hedgehogs and a little adoption certificate for him and then you can name him and name his personality with some name suggestions and stuff like that. It's called Hug a Hedgehog. And this is the larger Douglas Pygmy Hedgehog blush, which is also incredibly adorable. Um, he's a must-have if you love this animal uh, species. He's adorable. And I didn't mind Pom Pom. Actually, his name is also Spunky. I like the name, I gotta say. It's, uh, it's pretty and very original, actually, Spunky. But mine is named Pom Pom. Don't ask me why I named him Pom Pom. I thought it was, I thought it was quite, quite fitting for him. And mostly I keep Pom Pom. Um, Puki and Pablo together, the three Ps. And uh, yeah, Spunky and Twix are a side on my desk. There you go, Puki took his place back between his friends. Um, now I'm gonna show you some hedgehogs that are just on their legs gonna start by showing you some smaller ones. First of all, I got this little guy here. I have been following several hedgehogs on eBay, so most of them come off eBay. Uh, this is Harry. I just kept his name. His name was Harry Hedgehog, and apparently he's based on a pygmy hedgehog, even though he has like golden brown quills, which make him kind of, yeah, special. He is really soft. He actually has the fur of a webkins. Uh, and he's beanie, so he actually reminds me of a Webkin's hedgehog. Uh, even though he doesn't have a W, his legs are kind of small. He is one of those farmyard friends, I think. Even actually a hedgehog is rather like a woodland animal, but still. He's cute, he's adorable, and he was also kind of cheap. So I could afford him easily. And uh, I put him actually between all my smaller four-legged hedgehogs. In which, in this video, I'm just going to show you two of them. Because all the others were shown in the previous video. So this is Harry. Um, 
And this guy is a little one that Katie got for me. He's a, I think he's a beanie baby. I don't really know to which assortment he belongs. He, uh, he's a TY, a tie. So actually, I have no idea. I think I've seen several hedgehogs like this. I think there's a darker brown one available with gray quills. But this guy is a golden brown one that looks rather like a little spiky muffin. But yeah, as I already have one named Muffin, I named this guy Peanut. So he's really cute because he's so floppy that you can actually hide a part of his body like this. Too bad it doesn't stay like that, but he's really adorable. And he was a little something that was in Katie's package. Thank you, Katie. Thank you so much for getting him. <laughs> he's really cute. I like the shape of his muzzle. So these are, and he's very spiky. And actually I put these guys between all my smaller hedgehogs. Now I'm going to show you some larger ones on their legs. Most of them are pygmy hedgehogs. But I'm going to show you the brown one that I have first. Now I might have showed him earlier, not quite sure. This is UP, And he's a large living nature hedgehog. And I also, I really, yeah, he's definitely one of my favorites. I really love him. He reminds me of the guys that I can find here. Um, and his muzzle is well made. He's really cute and soft. I just like his quills too. He looks pretty natural. So he's just, yeah, he's sweet. And this is UP. And I think I'll put UP here. There you go. And then I have a few pygmy hedgehogs that I got from eBay again. Actually, I use eBay mostly. And also, uh, UP comes from eBay. Actually, they all come from eBay. This guy comes from Amazon. My dad helped him, helped me to get him because I don't have a credit card. Now, this is the Ned and Jules Hedgehog and Vesper actually made the interesting um, notice or the interesting, um, yeah, indeed. Uh, that he is um, a bit of a Yomiko classic hedgehog and indeed he, ha he has the kind of features uh, but he was on the tag it says Ned and Jules so I don't really know if those brands work together but this is Benji and he's obviously also a pygmy hedgehog plushie his um, paws are very serene and he is really sturdy and Kinda slim. But it's a really good quality plush and also really one that, yeah, really reminds me of the real species. So he's really cute. I know he has a very dark face, but still he's kinda realistic. But it's true, the picture on the internet looked better. <laughs> I, um, I admit. So this is uh, Benji. And then I have... This is Puzzle. And Puzzle is uh, a Wild Republic Wows Hedgehog. And he has that feature um, that he has glowing eyes. So when I put out the lights, he has glow-in-the-dark eyes. I like the way to put his ear there. It's just that it's the way of his, yeah, the shape of his muzzle and the way that his eyes are positioned into his head is a bit weird. But I'm actually getting used to the size, the oversized eyes that he has. Now actually getting used to the, the look in his eyes. What I really like about this guy are the quills on his head. Uh, because his head is actually sticking out a bit. He's actually stiffing up and none of my hedgehogs has, the, has this position. So when you hold him like this, it's like he's actually sniffing up. He reminded me of a bird in first place. But now actually I'm, I'm getting through his features and now he, really, he looks more like a hedgehog to me than like a bird. Um, So this is the Wild Republic Wows Hedgehog plushie. 
and I, he actually comes from the same cellar as Harry. Harry the farmyard hedgehog here. And also the last one that I would like to show you comes from the same cellars. This is Archie and he is a Keel Toys Pick Me Hedgehog plush. And I have to say his back is a bit weird, just the way his quills fall on his back. But you really get used to it and he is incredibly adorable and fluffy. And he's definitely one of my most favorite ones. I love them all, you know, but these guys just, some of them just really caught my, my heart, I'm gonna say. Um, he smells so good, his muzzle is so cute. I don't really know if he looks so real, but the fact that he's so fluffy makes him look so incredibly cute. That you just can't help it, you have to pet him each time you see him, so... Yes, it's like he's enjoying it. So this is Archie. And uh, he reminded me of a hedgehog that someone showed me um, on a Sonic fan page on Facebook. She made a picture of her pet and it its name was Archie. So this is why I named him Archie. Just, I kept a picture and I've been drawing it because it inspired me. And it was a really pretty drawing. So yeah, this is... One that I really, really love. Just look at the belly. And I don't really know how easily you can find them in the US because I believe keel toys are very easy to find in, or are pretty common in um, Europe. And as you can see, I just keep them all on my bed like this. And they're all pygmy hedgehogs apparently. So we have Archie. And now we have the three dog toys, here, here, and also here. I named them Lucky, Lucky Charm, Fortune Cookie, and Percy. <laughs> and uh, then we have um, Puzzle and Benji here. Now the dog toys, I came across them actually on several places, but I bought one each time I saw one. So, <laughs> and then I stopped because I could continue, but really, I, I start, I, I just kept on finding more and I had to stop myself because otherwise I would have nothing but of the uh, like these dog toys here so yeah in this uh, part of the video I would like to show you some larger hedgehog plushies now these guys are about 12 inches tall these ones here are about 10 inch around about 10 inch some of them are smaller but certainly not larger but the ones that I'm gonna show you now are a bit larger so first of all, you might remember this adorable Adventure Planet Hedgehog. He also has like white surroundings around his face and his belly. He has a brown, very soft belly and his paws are coming out. And um, he's adorable and so well made. He's very good quality. And I named him Saffron. And he has, yeah, he has like a dog, no a dog nose. Unfortunately, his muzzle isn't very pointy but still he's really adorable and really well made and I really yeah I, I'm just so happy I got him actually uh, whenever I see a pretty hedgehog plush on eBay I follow it and then I end up getting it someday um, and this just one of was one of these guys so he has like really pretty brown ears and actually what I really like about my pygmy hedgehogs is that their, their muzzle and ears mostly have all kinds of different colors. So for example, look at Benji, who has a very dark face. Also Harry has a dark face. And this guy here has another color of muzzle. This is Puzzle. And he has like pink ears. And these guys are rather um, pretty dark on their nose. So yeah, and Archie and Pom Pom look different as well. So that's what I really appreciate about them. I'm gonna show you another dark type that goes really well with Saffron. And his name is, is uh, Thistle. Um, it's the hedgehog that I just received. This is my Wild Republic um, Cuddlekins African Hedgehog. And uh, what I actually didn't show in my package video was this adorable brownish pinky nose most of my hedgehog have hedgehogs have like this dark um 
black dog nose, while this guy has the strawberry looking hedgehog nose of the species and yeah, strawberry. It's rather like a raspberry, I think. It reminds me of a raspberry, their nose sometimes. And this guy has this nice feature together with the larger ears, which none of my hedgehogs have. So this guy is pretty round and his quills have a kind of a weird, weird shape um, on his back. But still, he, uh, yeah, he's just stumbling off the, off the edge of my bed. He has, he also has like a little rope of light brown hair along his legs. He is definitely really pretty. Now I'm not into the Wild Republic sometimes, depends on the plush. Um, but they're very affordable and very detailed mostly. That's what I like about them. Don't like the material so much, but when it comes to material, I definitely like this better. But they are really, they go really well together. So this is, these are saffron and um, thistle. And I think they did a good job on both of them. And that brings me to the last part of this video, in which I will show you the largest of my hedgehog plush. Now, I don't have quite much. I just have two of them, but that's enough. I just love them. I just, <laughs> I am so incredibly charmed by them. The very first one is right here, he's a bit shy. Here he is, this is Toby. And Toby is also apparently based on an African pygmy hedgehog. He says bye, he says hello, he can enjoy cuddles. He's a very tame guy, he's not really mad. Um, I like the ears here. But his quills are really dark, so he doesn't have any white in his quills. Unfortunately, he has like really dark brown quills, which is a bit less realistic. But He has um, an entirely white belly. And I think they did a nice job on this plush. Now he's actually barely stuffed, but this plush turns out incredibly cute and kind of real, even though he looks a bit cartoony. Um, but if you love hedgehogs, gonna love this guy, absolutely. I had to purchase him and I think I had him for 90, 90 cents on eBay. I got him of a Chinese seller. And like this I had, I didn't have much shipping to pay. Um, and the item was pretty uh, cheap as well. And everything went perfectly. So I could receive Toby for not that much money. And I am so incredibly charmed by him. He's adorable. And mostly when I sleep, he's up there. Uh, next to Cumin, the largest hedgehog. And he just uh, sleeps in his ball. And what I really like about this hedgehog is that you can actually curl him up. And he is a little hideaway pets. And uh, I think he's made by Jay and Play. And yeah, I don't really know where you can find this guy. I don't really know where he has been sold. But I think they did a good job on making a hedgehog like this. Because if there is an animal that curdles up and that comes out just to say hi, it's a hedgehog, so... He looks like a baby. <laughs> I think he does. Now I'm gonna put him back into his ball, I guess. If I can. I just... I don't think I will be able to do it with one hand. No, I'll do it just after the video. So this is Toby. Just a little bunch of quills. There you go. Now I just retract his ears and his feet when he's balled up. And here we have Cumin. Now sorry for the zoom of my camera. And Cumin is actually a large Toys R Us hedgehog plush that was released apparently in 2013. If I'm right, I don't really know if someone has this plush hedgehog or has it left. I just came across it on eBay. And I, I didn't notice he was so large, but I decided to make an offer when I wrote that he was so large. And I thought, yeah, that is just awesome for my collection. Such a natural looking hedgehog, that's just huge. Just like I have all my favorite animal in a, in a gigantic blush. 
His ears are a bit small, unfortunately. Um, but also, he's apparently based on a very light hedgehog, so... He has uh, a very round belly. And of course, I got him in a used condition. I don't really mind. Unfortunately, his nose is a bit long. Um, and it goes up like this, which is not very realistic. But yeah, still, he's adorable. And he has really pretty eyes. And yeah, even my dad appreciated this guy, so... I'm glad he uh, approved. Because uh, I also love him really much. I think this guy is really special. Because he's so large and he has a natural look. So like this, I still have a hedgehog to cuddle up with. In each and every size. I'm still, yeah, kind of grief stricken. and I can have a real one. Um, I hope I can just forget all about this sometime. But for now I just keep on collecting hedgehogs and I feel it's not really a solution. But there's just nothing else I can do. Uh, hedgehogs are definitely not allowed here. So, um, yeah, I'm afraid I will never notice pet in a real uh, in real life. So yeah, maybe I can just find somewhere in the garden. Maybe we'll see about that. Meanwhile, I have my plush. Cute man, you're so cuddly. Yeah, he really is cuddly. <laughs> and if you feel sad, he's just an awesome plush, a gigantic hedgehog to cuddle up with. He's adorable. The gigantic eyes. He's so charming with his gigantic white forehead. Now I guess that's about it. I think I showed you guys all my hedgehogs so far. Um, I just put a bit cumin here. <laughs> look, Toby's. He's having a look at us from his bowl. <laughs> He's a little spy. Now I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.